concerns with medical electrical systems are the following. Use of an MPSO or multiple socket outlet accumulating leakage currents. What this means is that if you have multiple devices plugged into the same outlet strip, it will sum the earth leakage currents leading to possibly an excessive leakage current and would be over the limits specified in the standard. The next is, SIPSOP connections, which is signal input part, signal output part, contributing towards leakage currents. This would be things such as Ethernet connectors, RS-232, USB of typically data connections between the different parts in the system. The next is SIPSOP connections contributing to working voltages of isolation barriers and medical electrical equipment. Let's say you have an Ethernet connector on your medical device. Then what you have to consider for your isolation requirement is the worst case voltage and normal condition and single fault condition that can come in through that connection point and provide adequate electrical isolation for the voltages that could appear on those SIPSOPs. The next has to do with life support equipment since the function could be affected by electromagnetic compatibility, the interconnections, and proximity of other equipment which has to be taken into account. So if you have a computer, let's say as part of the system, its electromagnetic compatibility is emitted and the conductive radiation will not affect the medical device in that system. Finally, equipment or systems with therapies or functions that could affect one another, such as multiple alarms and different radiation levels. So you don't want to have alarms that confuse the operator because they don't know from which part of the system the alarm is coming. Here we see table L1 from the 60601 standard, showing some examples of medical electrical systems for illustration. It provides a situation and graphically shows whether the different pieces of the system are used inside the patient environment, outside the patient environment, or in a non-medically used room. It gives examples of the possible causes for exceeding the leakage current limits and the practical means of compliance.